intermediate value theorem, which basically says you have a point A, you have a point B, you have a function f of x, which is continuous between A and B. That means it had no breaks, no undefined points, no nothing. We talked about continuity in one of the previous videos. Just can't remember which. So now, A has f of A, B has f of B. If you have a point C, then it will be in between A and B, and K, which is presumably equal to f of C, will be in between f of A and f of B. And so that is the intermediate value theorem. But how do we prove it? Well, it's some very simple math. So let's start by taking a set S, which includes, uh, let's say, X, which will also be part of the set A, comma B, closed bracket. Why? Well, we're only talking about the region from A to B. Everything else we don't need to care about. Except, of course, well, something that's a little outside A to B. A minus delta. But we'll talk about that later. So, for now, we really only need to care about this portion in red. So now, X is in the set A comma B. So that means that it could be X could be anywhere in here from A to B because that's the part we're talking about. And also, this is true. So X is part of A of B. But this is only true when F of X is less than K. And remember what K is. K, that's this guy, F of C. We need to prove that F of C is K. We'll prove that later. Got a little immersed in the proof, you know.